As speaking of preparing for winter, there is always one of those key indicators just when it's coming and how bad it's going to be. Right, and so, you know, we're going to be talking about El Nino and how that'll impact our winter. And so even if we have warmer temperatures and less snow, you could still deal with more rain and you're dealing with more of those prolonged fall like conditions on the roads, you know. So let's talk about El Nino because we are currently in an El Nino pattern and right now data indicating that we will have a strong El Nino into the winter months. What does that mean? Well, it all has to do with the temperatures of the Pacific Ocean and the temperatures right now warm enough that it would have a pretty big impact on us in Michigan. So looking at previous data, when we have been in an El Nino, we have seen a snow deficit 70 to 80 percent of the time, and that snow deficit includes five to seven inches below where we should be in lower Michigan and a deficit greater than 11 inches in northern Michigan. And the northern part of the U.S. usually trends a little warmer than average during an El Nino season. So scientifically, that's what we're looking at. But we also like to talk about the winter weather folklore, something you can look for in your yard that may or may not indicate winter. But if you believe in the folklore, this is what you need to look for. The woolly bear caterpillar, some call the woolly worm. And if you see it with more of the black streaks, it usually indicates a harsher winter. But if it has more of that rusty brown color, that could indicate a milder winter. And this is the time of year that these little guys like to be out and about. So we'd like you to snap a my pick photo and share it with us so we can kind of analyze how we think our winter is going to shape up. And already this morning, we're getting one of those my pick photos in. Take a look at this one from Jules Child in South Lyon. It's all black. So if you were listening, that could mean a really harsh winter. Um, so of course, this is only one sample. We need to look at a few more to be able to <laughs> the jury is not out on this one but thank you for sending in that my pick photo if you happen to see one in your yard, share it with us. You can do it on clickondetroit.com and our forewarned weather app. We're also getting some color change photos coming in. Michelle and Novi sending in this photo. So here is a quick little report on your fall colors. We're currently seeing some patchy color in about a week. We'll be near peak at peak in just about two weeks and then three weeks from now past peak. So if you're trying to maybe plan some family photos with the fall colors in the next two weeks would probably be the best time to do that.